Hi everyone, it's Joy from Artful Homemaking, and today we're going to be learning how to milk paint an old window. And today I'm going to be learning this right along with you. I've actually never used milk paint on furniture before. I've used it for some things in our Etsy shop. We've painted some little wooden items for that for our shop. I've never actually used milk paint on furniture, so today is going to be the first time for me. This isn't an expert video, this is just me painting my first piece of furniture with milk paint. So I thought it would be just kind of fun to take you along as I learn how to use milk paint myself on furniture. So I'm just gonna show you what supplies I'm using today and how I'm going to be doing it. So today what I'm going to be painting is this old window. I got this window so many years ago, maybe 10 years ago, and it's been, I've used it a few times to decorate with. And, but mostly it's been sitting in my garage because I didn't like the paint color. It's kind of an off-white and it doesn't look terrible, but it does have some little um, kind of moldy looking spots on it, just spots that don't look very nice. And they, they don't really look rustic, they just don't look cute. So I wanted to go over the this kind of off-white, tannish color paint with some white paint and see if I could brighten it up a little bit and just make it look nicer. So. I'm going to be using Miss Mustard Seeds Farmhouse White Milk Paint, and that's what I've got today. So here's the piece of furniture I'm going to be doing. It's not really furniture, it's, it's just gonna be a decorative piece that I plan to use to decorate with. So I just love old windows, and I really want to fix this one so that it looks nicer and I can use it. So first I'm just gonna go over the supplies that I'm going to be using today. I've got Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint in Farmhouse White. It's a really pretty, rusticy white farmhousey color. So I've got the paint, and then I have, this is the Miss Mustard Seed little paint mixer thing. We invest in this and it's really handy. So I'm gonna be using that. And I have the furniture wax, and I have some sanding paper and a little mixer in case I need that. I have some tape. I'm going to tape around the window panes. First I'm going to start by taping around the glass window panes so that I don't get paint on the glass. I'm just going to add one part water to one part paint. So I'm just going to use a fourth of a cup. I really don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm going to try that to start off with. And then I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of water. And then I'm gonna take this little mixer thing and mix it. So now the paint has been sitting for about 10 minutes and then I mix the paint again. And it's thicker. The package says it should have about kind of a cream-like consistency. If, it, if it's not thick enough, you can add more paint. If it's too thick, you can add more water. Now I'm just gonna test out a little bit of the paint and see if the consistency is where I want it. The consistency looks, it seems a little bit watery, but it looks pretty good when you brush it on. If you can see this. So, I don't know, I'm thinking about just going with it and sticking with this consistency, and I think I'm just gonna try painting it and see what happens. painting the window. I have one coat of paint on. and I So I did switch to my favorite paintbrush, which is this Purdy Angled Brush, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. This brush was perfect for the project, so I probably should have just started with it. Anyway, I use this when I paint Fusion Mineral Paint and 
chalk paint. It's just my favorite all-around brush, so I should have just started with it. But anyway, so I did switch brushes in there, and it was perfect for getting in the little angled parts of each little window pane. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to see what the first coat looks like, see if it needs another coat or something else. And then I will be back after taking the tape off from around the panes and trying to clean it up a little bit, and we'll see how it looks when it's dry. And here's the completed project after two coats of paint and one application of furniture wax. I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and join us as we create a simple, natural, handmade home.